Hi there. Well, as you probably know, uh, New Zealand is going through a process of considering changing its flag. And I thought I might just take a moment uh, to run you through the case for why I think change is important and will actually benefit New Zealand and New Zealanders. So let's run through a few of the arguments. Firstly, people say it's our flag and we shouldn't change it. Well, that's true, but actually it's our third flag, not our first one. So I guess if the process of uh, saying you should stay there was because it was our, our flag, well, we've had two prior to this one. Secondly, just sheer confusion. Um, you might know the New Zealand flag, and it's great that most New Zealanders do, but around the world people get terribly confused. Uh, you can see pictures of me in the newspaper where they are talking about me and actually behind me and over my shoulder. Uh, they don't even try and take the mickey. They've got me in front of an Australian flag, and I can tell you that Tony Abbott, uh, Prime Minister of Australia, has nearly been put in front of the New Zealand flags on numerous occasions. There's lots of stories about that. The third and probably strongest argument for keeping the current flag is that our incredibly brave men and women fought and often died uh, in the service of this country uh, in terms of overseas locations and the various world wars that New Zealand's been involved in. And nothing I would do would want to denigrate the service and sacrifice of those incredibly brave men and women. But do you know that uh, up until 1978 when the bodies of our fallen were not uh, expatriated uh, to New Zealand but were interned overseas, in fact, what we did on the headstones of those uh, brave men in the Commonwealth War Graves, we didn't put the New Zealand flag, we actually put the silver fern. And it's my belief that actually while they were represented by a great many symbols when they were overseas, one of which of course was the New Zealand flag, they really fought for the values and principles that underpin this country, for democracy, for freedom, uh, basically for human rights, for women's rights. These are the things that our people fought for and sought to defend. Then some of you say, well, change, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable about it. Um, well, lots of countries change. In fact, recently the Herald had a, a little schematic in the paper, looked at 20 Commonwealth countries, 17 of the 20 have changed. And maybe most famously for New Zealanders, because we understand this country well, in 1965, Canada had a flag very similar to ours. It was actually red with the Union Jack in the corner, had, a, had a, an emblem in the middle, but looked at, not too dissimilar to the New Zealand flag. In 1965, Canada decided to change and they put the maple leaf on their flag. Interestingly enough, when their brave soldiers were interned overseas, um, they also put the maple leaf on their Commonwealth uh, headstones. But uh, I, I say to you now, if you look at that flag, if I was to walk in here with the maple leaf on my sweatshirt, you would either know A, I was a Canadian, or B, I'd most recently been to Canada. But you'd certainly recognise that symbol, I'd argue with you in the same way that we recognise the